A gash in the hull of this boat shows where it slammed into one of the buoys near the entrance to the Cape Cod Canal. All five people on board flew into the water. I heard a crash. Uh, and then we went outside and we could hear people yelling, help, help, help. Officer Jamie White pulled up in his cruiser, stripped down to his underwear, and jumped in. I just went. I didn't even think about it. I just went. Okay, Officer White's in the water. Got to rescue two bodies. With a flotation device and life jacket in tow, White swam about 40 yards through the canal's strong currents and through the darkness. He reached two of the five people, treading water and desperate. That's why I took off most of my clothing, because I was worried that if they were panicking that they were going to grab hold of my clothes, they were going to pull me under. Meanwhile, Officer Blaze Lolly ran down the shore toward the three other people clinging to the buoy. And I relayed that information to the uh, Wareham Department of Natural Resources patrol boat that was en route, and uh, they were fortunately able to rescue them. White started swimming back with the first two people, but in the dark, nobody could see them. Does anybody have eyes on Officer White? And then, after a second that felt like an hour, White responded. I'm back on show with two. Unfortunately, in this job, you don't get a chance to, you don't, you don't get the chance to be afraid. You just, you're there, it's your time, you have to do what you have to do. One of the people rescued is normally a rescuer himself, the fire chief from Mattapoisett. He and the other boat passengers are doing well tonight, and the state environmental police are investigating the cause of the crash.